This quick video is going to look at perspective and it's just going to touch on something that we've mentioned before about um, empathy, like Rumi Bilan talked to you about, and about understanding other people's beliefs and behaviours and how these are shaped by their own experiences. So I'm going to tell you a quick story about these two people. Um, so they're both discussing one issue. So it could be, you know, something moral or something religious, um, abortion or LGBT rights or beliefs about sustainability or, you know, one of these complex issues. And they both have completely different viewpoints on it. And they're stuck in a stalemate because this person's saying, I'm looking at the box, it's clearly a red box. And this person's saying, well, it's obviously a blue box. You're obviously crazy. Look at it. It's blue. So they, from their perspective, are truly believing that what they can see is this red box or this blue box. And they're adding up all their experience, all their knowledge on the subject and where they've come from. And they just can't see that there would be another truth than this is a red box or this is a blue box. And the fact is they're not wrong because from that perspective that's all they can see as far as they know that is a red box and so this person is making no sense and vice versa and so sometimes when you're talking about um, things that you really believe in and you come to a stalemate with somebody else it's worth just stepping back and seeing if you can be this person who you know comes out from that red or blue side and can look at the box and say Actually, do you know what? I can see that you both have a point because there's not one right answer. And in problems like this, there often aren't one right answer. There could be, you know, six different right answers, six different coloured sides, depending on how you're looking at it. But if you can step back from one position and understand that somebody coming from a different direction might be seeing what you believe in so truly from a completely different angle, it can really help you to get on a different playing field when you're discussing and to better understand how you can help the other person to see your perspective because you've taken the time to see their perspective. And you could say, well, why aren't they coming around to me? But that's not what being a leader is about. It's about you taking the action and trying to take steps for action. So if you have to be the person that steps back and looks at the other angle, it doesn't mean you have to believe that it's blue. You just have to believe that they believe that it's blue and why they believe that it's blue, if that makes sense. So I have a quick task for you to do. I want you to think of your issue. Um, could be related to your project. It could be something that you have quite strong personal beliefs about. And I want you to list your beliefs, you know, blue or your belief. Um, and in the next column, I want you to think of somebody who has alternative beliefs. One thing we can all agree on is that I have terrible handwriting, um, but I'm creative, so that's okay. Um, so I want you to list these two. And like I said before, there's not always just two sides. There could be lots of different viewpoints that differ from yours, but you just pick one for now. And once you've listed those, I want you to have a think of, firstly, are there any ways where these kind of cross over in terms of values? So we've discussed that um, you all have your different values around things and they come from a variety of places. But just because you believe an end goal is this or this, it doesn't mean that there aren't crossovers. So, for instance, um, my best friend, her and her wife, I recently got married and now her wife is pregnant and they're going to start a family and her grandmother um, is Christian, religious and really had a problem with the fact that my friend was a lesbian and that they were going to be bringing a baby into a same-sex marriage and so my friend she didn't say no you're wrong and this is what I believe what she said was um, why is it that you think it's wrong and the grandmother said because you know, you're supposed to have a man and a woman so you can make a family and, you know, the family unit's really important. And so my friend kind of explained it in terms of the fact that they were just a different family unit and the things that stand strong in family, like understanding and supporting each other and love and 
nurturing and educating that, st that child all still ran true and that helped her grandmother to kind of, you know, come round to the idea. I don't think she, you know, is fully accepting, but at least she could see that the, the principles and the values were the same, even though the arrangement was different. So are there any ways that these two lists can come together, even if they're not in agreement, but they have shared values that, that are leading them to these different end goals? Um, and in this one, I want you to have a think of, you know, are there things here that are just completely at loggerheads, that there's no way to meld them into a red and blue box, a purple box. They have to stay separate because, um, you know, there's just kind of no way of putting them together or explaining them away. Um, and once you've made this list, I want you to have a think that if you are arguing, let's not say arguing, discussing, debating uh, with somebody and you come up against these loggerheads that just can't be shifted, are there ways that you can pull out that you could shape those messages into more of a compromise? Uh, I accept that this is what you believe and I accept that this is what I believe and these are never going to get on, but what we can do is dot, dot, dot. Um, so I just want you to have a think and come up with a few examples. I mean, you can share them on Facebook. We don't have to put them on the forum or anything or email them to me if you don't want to put them on there. Um, with your lists, any merged ideas and any sort of stalemate problems. And we're going to use this later on in the course. So keep a hold of these. Okay, get on with it. Bye-bye. <laughs>